so how we calculate with the e-tabs and how we check that it, uh, either these are within the limits uh, according to the code or not for that here i am in the e-tabs so before starting i have to create the load com uh, load patterns again for the drift here these are already uh, seismic load patterns developed uh, for the uh, later analysis but in the uh, in the tabs there is specific uh, type for the earthquake xx for the drift okay so here is the seismic drift here i am again selecting ubc 97 add new load combination similarly i will uh, provide the second combination ub97 add new negative so here plus y similarly negative y okay i have created in the four direction plus access in the uh, in the for example in the right direction minus x in the left direction it is direction one that's the direction two similarly in the y so in the y this is one uh, and the backward that is two that is negative y okay so now i will change the data by clicking modify that is the x x direction plus eccentricity that is uh, uh, code code mentioned that you have to consider uh, accidental eccentricity five percent so if we do not know the soil profile that I have explained in the load pattern already for example two way uh, we are considering the intermediate moment resisting frame from base to top so that's all okay now I will uh, do for the rest uh, in the negative that is positive by okay now the last one five point by okay okay now i will run analysis and design uh, i will run analysis analysis is complete now I, uh, we can see all the things like story displacement uh, story drift and story drift ratio in the tabular form or in the graphical form for the graphical form going to display story response plots okay so here by default the story response plots uh, plots here maximum story displacement against for example uh, here the earthquake load combination in the x direction and here is the x is the blue line and red is the uh, in the y direction line so here is the displacement okay you can see here the values when I go uh, snapping 76 millimeter uh, in the x direction and 32 millimeter in the y direction so similarly uh, if i see in the y direction here now the y direction line is more similarly i can see more things like uh, maximum story drifts okay what are the story drifts between the stories okay i can we can also see in the tabular form so for example story shares okay the red line is showing the uh, story share in the y direction we have applied the earthquake in the y direction if we apply the earthquake in the x direction definitely then uh, blue line will appear okay so that's how we can see the story plots 
now i will go in the analyze in the tables analyze results displacements okay here is the story drifts okay here in the software is showing me the uh, uh, drift ratio not the uh, uh, story drift in millimeter that is the drift ratio okay the display this made the, the the displacement between the floor levels divided by the floor height okay so now i will go in the story maximum in every displacement here against the load combination earthquake plus but i will select the uh, drift combination earthquake plus xx okay and select only x here is the displacements in the x direction okay uh, here i have selected all the displacements copy take here and paste here okay and you have to also put the story height story data for that i will go in the model structure data uh, sorry structure layout story data here i will copy okay and paste here sorry i have not selected the copy let me copy again okay so there is a a and b a, a b b is the uh, is hidden so i have to again go back and separate copy okay okay so definitely at the base there will be zero displacement so you can put either here so basically this value is not needed okay so these are the uh, elastic displacements which we have seen from the e tabs okay displacements these are the displacements now we will uh, take the amplified displacements for that here the code says that for getting the actual displacements for example this is a two story building that is uh, the here is the dotted line which is showing the uh, curly 1e that is the elastic displacement but uh, from the original position here is the dark line that is a curly one this is the actual displacement so what is the actual let me show you more here is the figure uh, when the analysis is performed the in the elastic range those uh, uh, these are the displacement these are elastic displacement for getting the actual displacement mean including the inelastic deformations you have to apply the uh, displacement amplification factor for that uh, displacement amplification factor here cd that's uh, present at the same location where we have selected the uh, response modification factor here sorry here here the response modification factor over strength factor and deflection amplification factor so here deflection amplification factor against the special moment resisting frame that is 5.5 and for the intermediate moment resisting frame that is 4.5 so here i will put the value 4.5 you can you will put the value as per requirements if it is a special moment resisting frame then that is a 5.5 if it is intermediate that is 4.5 and here software uh, multiplied the cd displacement multiplied by cd divided by i that is the importance factor that is 343.944 millimeter 
to amplify displacement then the story drift means this displacement minus this displacement here f5 minus f6 f5 minus f6 mean f5 minus f6 that is a story drift okay all the story drifts okay so here i have put the value basically in millimeter i have to put here in meter okay uh, here is the story drifts all in my structure and here is the allowable drift allowable drift i have put 0 0.015 from where i have put that is also given in the code Here is uh, in the ASC 716 on page number 109. Okay, I have already taken the snapshots. Here, depending upon your seismic risk category, you have to select your uh, allowable story drift. Uh, structures other than masonry structures uh, or four stories or less than uh, or less above the base means uh, stories for or less if masonry structures other masonry all other types of structures the value of story drift is, drift is 0.02 hx hx is the story height 0 0.015 0 0.01 and what is one or two three or four that is seismic risk categories here again from the same code asc 716 if your building have low risk one or here for example if your building uh, or other structures not including the risk category four uh, for example uh, handling storing use dispose of such as hazardous materials chemicals all types of these uh, for example if our building is not a so much uh, a seismic risk like for example nuclear plants or some turbines uh, areas so these are uh, seismic risk category of four when normally uh, you can take uh, this seismic risk category three okay so against the seismic risk category three i have selected the 0 0.015 so that's why i have put the value of 0 0.015 okay so here is the allowable settlement uh, allowable drift so the story drift in our building is less than the allowable so that's why it's safe so here i have applied for the in the earthquake x direction now for the second earthquake minus x okay copy okay so if we are again calculated all are, is safe similarly in the y direction you have to also perform in the y direction in the positive y and in the negative y now here is the form of story drift ratio here is a story drift divided by story height that is the value and that is the allowable drift again that is the okay safe similarly in the negative x direction so that are the story drifts story drift ratios and here is this st uh, allowable story drift ratio okay so all these checks are okay if any check is going to fail then you have to provide uh, some heavy structural members stiff members either walls or uh, increase the size of the columns so that's how we calculate the story drifts in our models so that's all have a nice day